usually heel booties. I don't find them comfortable. I just wear them for the fashion. Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I'm here with another weekend reading vlog. I haven't done this in a while because usually my weekends are taken up by my boyfriend will he recently moved like two three hours away from me so on the weekends he'll come home and i'll hang out with him but this weekend he was supposed to come home but then he got a shift at work so now he's not coming home and i also don't work on sunday which i usually do so that means we have time to actually film a reading vlog because reading will actually be done because i'm stuck here by myself because he's not coming home. But that's good for my channel because then I'll actually, you know, read like I'm supposed to. It is currently October 22nd, 2021. It is 11.38 a.m. I already went to work and came home. I work 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. and then 2.30 to 6 every weekday. I am a before and after school program lead, so I love it. Y'all don't care about this, you want to hear about my reading. I am reading Dear Martin by Nick Stone. I am 155 pages in. I'm really liking it. I'm probably going to end up giving it a 4 or a 4.5, depending on how it ends. But it's about a African-American teenager named Justice. He is riding in the passenger seat of his best friend's car, and they have music blasting, and they are stopped at a traffic light by a off-duty cop. And an argument ensues because the cop wants them to turn down the music and his best friend is not having it because he's just been having a rough day and so he kind of fights back and things escalate from there it's like a look at the injustice against african americans with the american police force a lot of people love this book and i am definitely one of them i think it's a really important book especially now with the whole black lives matter movement i believe this was published like way before black lives matter this came out in 2017 and black Lives matters was like last year. I do think it's a very poignant book and I do think that it is very important but the goal is to finish this today and then I'm probably going to start a another book. I'm not sure which one it's going to be but I will let you know when that happens but I got a package in the mail that I thought I would uh, share with you guys because a company called Tijin, I think that's how you say it, I could be very wrong. It's T-I-J-N. I, I think it's Tijin. It might be time. I don't know. But they sent me something super exciting. And I was really excited when I received the email because I have worked with them before and they sent me glasses, a pair of blue light glasses and a pair of sunglasses and a pair of just like cute glasses as well, which I really liked. And then they're coming out with shoes and jewelry now. They said I could pick out a pair of shoes and two pieces of jewelry from their new collection. I was so excited when I saw this pair of shoes because I think they are the cutest thing ever. So I picked out these little booties. They are the Brooke booties. And if you guys don't know, I am six feet tall. So I am an Amazon. I don't wear heels that much because when I do, I end up being 6'4 because usually heels are pretty big big on women's shoes for like not for normal people but for a six foot person making yourself six four is not good especially when you work with children who are three to twelve you just tower over them already so wearing heels is not the best idea so the thing i love about these is that they have this tiny heel so it only makes me like maybe six two on a good day so they are so cute they are in the taupe color they also had i think like four or five other colors so i got a size 10 because you know being six feet tall your feet are pretty big okay but i will say that the 10 is a little bit big for me i I'm usually like a 9.5 but I don't remember if they had half sizes so I think I just did 10 to be safe they might have half sizes look it up but like I said these are a little bit big on me but I feel like if I get insoles then they'll fit perfectly they are very comfortable though which I was a little bit surprised at because usually heel booties 
I don't find them comfortable. I just wear them for the fashion. But these are actually super comfortable and they're not gonna hurt your feet while you're wearing them for a seven and a half hour day running around after the kiddos. So I'm really, really excited about these. I honestly want to order a pair in every single color. I'm obsessed. But that was the first thing that they sent me. And then they also sent me two jewelry pieces. They wanted me to pick from the same collection. So these were the only two jewelry pieces in that collection, so I kind of had to order those ones because I wasn't allowed to mix and match. But the first pair of earrings that they sent me are actually pretty cute. I like them. They are, the, I don't know if this is going to show up on camera. I'm going to hold it over here. I don't know. Can you see that? Can you see that? I don't know. I'm not a beauty guru. But they are like pearl swirl thingies with diamonds hanging down. But they're pretty cute. I think like for a cute night out, like a fancy dinner, I'm here for it. My birthday is coming up October 29th. Maybe I'll wear these with a cute little dress. We're going to the keg for my birthday dinner. So I mean like it's gonna be cute. I believe that these are the Zara earrings. They might be the Naomi earrings. I don't know. I have packing slips for both of them and one says Naomi and one says Zarya, but they both say gold color, so I don't know. I can't tell them apart because they're both gold. But then the next pair of earrings that they sent me, I'm not gonna lie, they are not my style, but like I said, they were the only option that I could have because there was only two options. They are these drop down, like, pearl they're they're big ass pearls um so they'll look like like that on my ears are really tiny so it just looks really funny on me but uh i like to say that uh, this would be like the perfect gift for like a great aunt susan you know i kind of feel like they're grandma earrings so like if you still got a grandma i have a grandma but she doesn't know who i am anymore because she has dementia. But um, I feel like they're like perfect grandma earrings. So if you got like great Aunt Susan or a grandma, th these would be wonderful Christmas present coming up. If you guys are interested in their home life collection, I definitely recommend their shoes because they actually have really cute pairs of shoes. I fell in love with so many of them and it was so hard to narrow it down which pair of shoes I wanted because there were a lot that I was like, need, 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 need. But it came down to the fact that they had to be closed toed and a closed back for my work because I figured I'm gonna purchase something for work. Treat yourself. Uh, if you don't have that problem at work, I would definitely check out the links that I'm leaving down in the description box for you guys to check out. But I'm gonna be wearing these boots all the time. I gotta go to the shoe store and try to find insoles that will fit these ones so that I can wear them and not, you know, slide around because they're too big. I'm excited. Thank you so much to Tyne to Jin, not sure how to say it still. But like I said, I'll leave the links down below if you guys want to check them out. I recommend the shoes. They cute. Hello, it is now like 2.30. Um, I'm going back to work now, so I figured I would update you guys on what's going on with me before I left. I finished you, Martin, and very much enjoyed it. I gave it a four out of five stars. The ending was good. I enjoyed it, but um, also kind of annoyed by it because I wanted uh, something to happen and uh, I can't really say anything about it without giving away like the ending of the book. I am happy about what happened, but also not happy about what happened. And if you've read the book, maybe you know what I'm talking about. But I, like I said, I'm now going back to work. I am going to be starting Bite Back by Molly Lakovich. She is actually a booktuber. She's one of my friends on booktube and she wrote a book and it's being released on November 8th, which is super exciting, but I'm going to be starting that. Not 100% sure what it is about, honestly, because she kind of just sent me a message on Instagram. was like, hey, want to read my book? And I was like, uh, yeah, I do. I have read her writing before when we first started talking back in like I don't know when we started talking like 2018 I feel like it was earlier than that she used to like write like fan fiction I guess you could call it but it's like it's not fan fiction she was writing a book but it was like really good and it was like a Hades Persephone retelling and she would send chapters to edit for her because you know English woo. Um, so I would read the chapters and tell her like what I thought and if anything should be changed blah 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 but then she stopped writing that book and I was really upset about it because like I was 
into it. I honestly do not remember what it was called. But so when she messaged me asking me to read this book, I was like, ah, uh, heck yes, I love your writing. So I am so excited for this. Um, I will, when I'm off work at six o'clock, actually look up a synopsis because I tried to look it up on Goodreads, but because it's being released November 8th, it doesn't exist on Goodreads because she's indie publishing it. So it doesn't come up on Goodreads until it's actually been published and like out in the world. So I do have to look it up on Amazon because it's also available on Amazon for pre-order if you guys want to go you know check it out but to me it looks like a vampire book but and I mean it's called bite back but I could be very wrong so do not take my word to be gospel because like I said I need to look it up on Amazon to give you a full synopsis but when I get back from work I will do that and I will update you guys what it's actually about but I'm excited because I love Molly's writing so here for it but I'm gonna go to work now or else I'm gonna get in trouble bye hi i'm home now it's 6 25 it was a day but i am now going to start right back by molly Likovich, and i figured out what the synopsis is so it follows a girl named henrietta otherwise known as henry who is trying to survive her senior year at a prestigious college called davidson she ends up meeting her professor his name is dorian she finds out that he's actually a century old vampire and he wants her to join his like pack of vampire lovers so she decides that that's a great idea so she joins her vampire groups called covens i think those are witches but she joins this little vampire clique of lovers and then she also discovers that there is a vampire hunting club at Davidson and so that puts her and her vampire lovers in danger but like I said I really like Molly's writing so I am very excited to start this it is pretty short at least on my phone it's only 207 pages so I should be able to fly through this pretty quickly I do need to make dinner though so I don't know how much of that I'm actually going to read tonight until like nine o'clock when I'm done dinner and everything because then I can lie in my bed and just like chill relax and you know flip through the ebook so until then I'm going to be listening to an audiobook but I have not chosen what that audiobook is I have a lot of my arcs on audio now because they were arcs but they've come out now and you know I slacked on that a lot this year well that's a lie I didn't really slack on my arcs I just read newer arcs than like my backlist arcs so I'm trying to get through my backlist arcs now because there are quite a few and I've been kind of focusing on like the newer ones of them so I'm probably gonna pick one of those that have come in to my library but like I said I don't know which one it is yet hello so. it's now Saturday at 11.09 in the morning I have spent my entire morning reading Reprieve by James Han Matson. oh my god I am 250 pages in right now and I am like Oh my god, this book. So if you're new to this channel, you don't know that I'm like a huge thriller fanatic. Last year or two years ago, I can't exactly remember when, there was this the full contact haunted house called McCammy Manor. And I became obsessed with it because it is just like the most insane thing in the entire world. Either Google or go on like YouTube and type in McCammy Manor. It is crazy. Basically full contact haunted house where the participants who want to be in this haunted house have to sign a like 40 page waiver basically signing away all of their rights this haunted house mccammy manor i'm not 100 percent sure where it is located because it's been moved so many times because there's so many petitions like trying to close it down but everybody who works there are felons and they basically get to torture the participants of this full contact haunted house and it is the most crazy thing in the entire world there's been like news stories and so many people trying to shut it down because it's just insane and so mccammy manor in order to go through it and be a participant you have to go through like a psychological evaluation to make sure that like you're all good in the head in order to go through it you have to sign the 40 page waiver signing away your rights you have to sign an nda so you can't talk about what's going on in the house if you are able to go 10 hours in this house without saying the safe word then you win like a cash prize but i became obsessed with this place like two years ago and i went down a rabbit hole 
level where I could not stop researching because I was just like so mind blown that this place existed. So this book is basically just McCammy Manor, but it follows a full contact haunted house in Nebraska called Quigley House. If you are able to make it through the six cells in this house without saying reprieve, which is the safe word, then you will win a cash prize. And it's basically the story of a whole bunch of people who are somehow all interconnected, related in some way. And it's basically you trying to figure out what happened during one of the haunts that happen and somebody ends up dying and you have to figure out like if it was planned or like what happened it is just so good i'm like obsessed with it like i said i'm only 250 pages in so like about a little bit over halfway this is how much i have left this one so i'm almost done but i am like loving it it is so spooky and just like trying to figure out what the heck is happening and who is connected to who is so interesting so i highly recommend this for like spooky season i'm having a good time the whole plan for today is finish this book i also need to clean my bathroom because it is disgusting because i share it with my older brother he is a full-fledged disgusting male so it, it's just a disaster in there so i need to clean it so that it's not gross anymore and then i also have a couple hauls that i need to do because i keep buying books and not doing anything with them so that needs to be done i finished reprieve i've been on the phone for the past like hour and a half with will because he finished work but it's now 4 30 just finished this and i'm giving it a four out of five stars i genuinely thought that it was going to be a five out of five stars but the ending kind of sucked it was very lackluster and i was expecting a lot more than what i got with that ending but i mean it was still a lot of fun i really like the spookiness of it i definitely think that this is more slow of a thriller so if you're expecting like really fast paced this is not it it takes a lot of time to like build i mean it was a lot of fun and i still really enjoyed my time while reading but definitely not a five out of five star more of a four out of five star oh, hello we're back in again it's Sunday now. We are going to go thrift shopping because I need pants because it's almost winter time and I only own capris. So I'm not allowed to wear sweatpants to work anymore and therefore I need actual pants. And trying to find a shirt for me. And a shirt for her. But more importantly, but more importantly pants for me. Hi Vic. I live near Vic, Shaz. Around the corner. Around the corner from Vic, so sometimes I see her in the neighborhood and it's funny because she's another booktuber. We are down one store and I spent $93. I bought three pairs of pants, two skirts, a... that was a terrible signal. <laughs> one long sleeve shirt, one kimono what thing, shirt the green one. Did I get anything else? You got two sweaters. You got the pink one and the green one. Oh, no, it's purple. It's like a white it's purple. It's like a, a mauve. Oh, it's at the very bottom. I I'm not pulling it out. It's not mauve. It's not pink. It's, it's something. Lavender, but not lavender. See? It's like a light, light, light pink, but purpley. So. But yeah, so cute. And now we're going to go to Reitman's for Mama. So she can find a shirt. Start the car, mom, start the car. We went to Urban Behavior and there was a sale on and it was said $10, but then it was actually everything for $5. So we bought four shirts and they rang it up and it was like $22 when we said that it would be like 45. I bought four of the exact same shirt in different colors because that's the kind of person I am. Bought more things. <laughs> Hmm. 22 things for like $200. Technically 27 things. So it costs average of $10 a piece. $10 a piece! Gosh, I'm a thrifting queen. I don't know what's my favorite. I think this is my favorite. It's like a windbreaker. And it's so cute and bright and like me. So I like it. <laughs> <laughs> 